Hello, welcome to the Vintage Girl Next Door. My name is Lacey and today I have a vintage gadget for you. If you wondered why my hair is looking all super straight, this is why. Today, we are gonna test out this steam set personal hairdresser. Look how cute it is, pink and black, love it. Here's what it looks like inside, all pink with the curlers. And I found this at the thrift store. Um, I believe they were $3 with the curlers. So a little bit about these curlers. They are mid 60s, which I mean, it's still mid century. So I feel like let's go with it. It is made by the Popeil brothers the same brothers that made the donut maker. So if you've seen my previous Vintage Gadget video about making donuts, then yeah, it's the same people. Those were pretty, uh, some diverse brothers. They're into hair curlers, donut makers, like all sorts of things. They were just inventor guys that made all kinds of gadgets. So that's kind of fun. And if you have not seen my other Vintage Gadget videos, I will be sure to link those in the eye for you so that you can check them out. I have a whole Vintage Gadgets playlist. Let's talk a little bit more about these curlers. Um, so I did a little bit of research and these are unique because as it says, steam set. So you actually, you use this pink cup, six ounces of water, and you pour it in to the base and then it heats the curlers with steam. They were supposed to actually come with clips and it also came with this face shield because not only was it steam curlers, but it, was, it could also give you a steam facial. <laughs> so unfortunately, mine is just the curlers. I don't have the little attachment that you could use to give yourself a facial. But yeah, it says a steam facial and a vaporizer. So, three in one, folks. <laughs> Other handy things, it has this little safety mechanism here to where if it were to tip over, it would turn off. So like as it sits, it presses on the little pegs. I'm excited to test these out. They have their work cut out for them because as you can see, this is my natural state of hair. It's so straight. like. So straight as a board. Uh, this isn't straightened or anything. This is just how it happens after it dries. <laughs> so also just a little disclaimer, I did get my hair dyed today. Um, and so just pardon the orange that you may see on my ears and face area. <laughs> so without further ado, let's try out these curlers. We will see how it goes. I have a bunch of different like hair clips and things um, to try to use to secure them to my head since I don't have the clips that it came with to hold them. So hopefully that'll go okay. We shall see. And the clips that it came with are not even like the normal hot roller clips either. So like I couldn't even try to find any to use instead. It was just, they're like a really weird kind of wonky shape. So. Let's test out this gadget. Let them sit and heat up for a good like 15, 20 minutes. So I could hear like steam inside i could hear like what sound like water boiling so i think that's a good sign so i will start rolling them in my hair
see what kind of girls we've got. super curly. Okay, this is how it looks. Uh, definitely not super curly. Um, it does have some good volume though. I'm not mad at that. Yeah, I was worried about this when I was rolling it because the curlers didn't feel super hot to the touch. But when I first opened the lid, I like kind of burned my finger with the steam. So note to self, if you use these, definitely open with the sides and don't have anything over the actual container because it will burn you. <laughs> I did not think that through. That was my bad. I have kind of a rough time getting them to pin in place just simply due to the fact that I didn't have the right clips. So that was an issue. I mean, it it curled, it did curl. They were kind of heavy on my head, but if you're used to hot rollers, it probably wouldn't bother you. I'm just not used to that kind of roller. Um, and so it did feel a little bit heavy with those on and I did let them cool all the way down completely so that I could get the max amount of curl. So I will show you the back. Well, like I said, not super curly, but these are a 60s curler, and in 60s, the super tight curls, you know, like the, what I'm used to doing, was not really in fashion as much. More of a smooth, um, and then just like a curled under look, like, kind of similar to this. They definitely worked. They curled my hair. Is it something I would use every day? Probably not. <laughs> Is it something I'll use again? Probably not. Unless I'm going for a like a real 60s hair. I don't think that I'll be using them, but I do still love them. They are very cute and pink. I'm gonna style my hair and I'll see what I can make out of this curl and I will be right back to show you. Okay, here is the style I came up with. It really was giving me like Betty Draper season, like the first episode of Mad Men, I think. She has her hair kind of similar. I don't know, this is a little more, like even more smooth, but like she did the hair comb and then kind of like a no part situation. So that's what I was going for. I'm not mad at it. I think it turned out kind of cute. So yeah, I just did a little pin curl right here on the side and then the ends are all kind of turned under and yeah I think it turned out cute not my typical style not my typical kind of curl that I like to get when I'm styling my hair but it was fun to try it out also like I said that steam is really hot so I feel like it would be a little strange to hold your face over it like I feel like it would burn you. I don't know, maybe the rest of the kit that I don't have kind of makes it work. It's very possible. If you like these vintage gadget videos, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I would love to have you around for more of our vintage fun. And if you need more of the Vintage Girl Next Door, you can find me on Instagram. I am there at Lacey Faye and I would love to have you. I post almost every single day. I hope that you are all safe and well and I am sending you all my love and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!